I had a reading with Amy two days ago, and it was one of the most moving experiences I've ever had. They're bringing in everybody. Oh, wow. What are y'all doing? Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. I was a little skeptic. I just got the biggest rush of like euphoria in my body ever. My sister and I did the reading. It helped us out a lot. You know, a mom is the mean one. Your father's not. <laughs> <laughs> but but that's what he keeps talking about and i'm like we know I... that we know that my sister cried because it really hit home she was holding on to a lot of guilt daughter have a lot of guilt for his passing and i don't know why he's trying to tell me why right now he makes me feel tissue and hand squeezing somebody's hand and so that means like we were there i tell feel me. guilty because i usually stay with him every time he went to a hospital i spend the nights but that day i didn't and that's where he passed pain right before passing Pain, pain, like tightness. That's another guilty part. I think I was selfish because he had said no code and I told him to resuscitate him, to keep him until, you know. That's painful. It's painful. That's why they talk about that. I don't, I, don't, want... I know you didn't. I know you didn't. That's gone. You can't do anything about it, right? So I want you to let that go. Listening to her and having her give me the details of his death that only she could have not known. Having closure from this whole experience that I found the most rewarding. We're either, we either had an issue kind of walking or we just walked really slow his knees double knee replacement it's very specific my father told me to let go of any guilt about his passing he says tell me son i'm proud of him i didn't get to tell him that enough so he didn't tell you that enough. so he's telling you that now poor little buddy you were so little i love you man i'm so much taller than him i'm six feet tall he's like here to me is he like like five six five five really? five six <laughs> I'm looking forward to my next reading with her. He does worry about you and he says you're gonna burn yourself out. Can you like be okay? Can you like chill? I mean, you're doing a really good job, but like you're gonna burn yourself out, buddy. I'm trying. I know. <laughs> I highly recommend her. So thank you, Amy, for giving us this opportunity to reach my father. Do you have any questions? For me at all. Uh, before we go, yeah. I just want to ask my dad about my daughter. First initial thing is she's in a dark place. He goes, he puts a shadow over her. He's talking about it being critical. And she has cancer. <sighs> you want me to sugarcoat it or not? No. Okay. I don't think it's going to go very well. We're at stage three. Four. I'll take care of her, but you will have to marry a daughter, but it'll be fine. But what this means is that you need to cherish the time you have and enjoy it. And then he has it over here. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love you guys. I get it. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome.